why buy a sweater that's 200 euros when you can make one yourself for over 100 euros and like uh, immense loads of time which isn't which was a lot <laughs> hi everyone welcome to this video i'll show you how i made this amazing sweater it's partly tutorial but mostly like my experience making it so i hope you enjoy and please like and subscribe hello this is voiceover me <laughs> let's just talk about the sweater i first wanted to make it more like a tutorial kind of video but i have almost no experience with knitting and i don't know what i'm doing so so i bought a pattern from my accents if i pronounce that correctly it's marzia's brand but i think i had a problem with the wool i bought the the width of the wool was too small so i had to adjust the pattern and kind of make it my own thing you'll see it's huge the sweater when it comes to the wool itself like the material i considered a few things but um it's still really confusing because i was thinking i want the most ecological option and in my mind that was wool but i've seen a lot of different things online i have no idea what to believe anymore i think next time i might use acrylic wool like it's not really wool but um, also because it's a lot cheaper and if it doesn't matter when it comes to ecolo the ecological aspect then i don't care so previously i don't know if you've seen my previous video slash vlog but that's when I started to learn how to knit and I used the pattern that Marzia made but like it was way too small here you can see me working on the front of the sweater um, I don't think I have a lot of footage of wor me working on the front of the sweater That's huge. This is what I've done so far. It's actually massive. It's almost the size of our kitchen table, but it's a small table, so. And I also did the border of the back of the sweater. So this is the front. And I kind of um, didn't follow the pattern like at all. So it will be kind of difficult to try to match the sides. I think that will be the hardest part, but in this video I'll also explain how I switch colors and stuff. This is the rip stitch. I really recommend looking up all the different stitches. But I think it came out quite well. Like I will have a huge space for my neck. Um, there will also be a collar here. And then there will also be sleeves, um, there's so much work left. I'm going to show the back so you can get a better idea. So this is the front. Uh, the border looks kind of the same because the, it's the rib stitch, which uses the stitches you use like at the back, but also at the front, but then two by two in my case. And this is what the back looks like. I tried to, I don't know, weave in <laughs> yarn strings that were left. Um, it will be kind of hard to explain how I did this. And also, I don't know if this is like the totally correct way to do it. So I really recommend like, again, looking up other resources, like which, with each row um, that I had to add or remove some color, I, cut off one of the colors usually it was the same color with each section it's really hard to explain but <laughs> what's left of the yarn i've kind of woven into yeah the back of the sweater so that everything is secure this was the first draft i guess and it's actually terrible this was according to the pattern like 100 percent but it was so small because my yarn is too 
thin, I guess. And at first I was like, maybe I can add some extra panels, but then I decided it looks crappy anyway. <laughs> so I wanted to start all over again. Also, there were like obvious holes in here. It's not as good as the bigger version, but the bigger version is huge. So we'll see what happens. Here you can see them compared, but that needs to be gone. And now I have this huge front. <laughs> I'm so curious at um, how it will turn out. I have no idea. I really need like a chihuahua so that he or she can wear <laughs> The tiny version of my sweater. So this will definitely be the hardest part because I did the front but I didn't follow the pattern and now I have to like wing it and make sure the sides match <laughs> with the front. Basically, I just started with a new color, which is blue. I just cut off the green part and later on we can fix this. Um, sometimes I also just make a knot so that these two colors are connected. I basically have to do 14 rows of blue until I have to add two new colors. I'm just going to do that. So this is the reversed. Net stitch, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's the official name, but you do it like this. The right side of the back should of course match the left side of the front <laughs> and I still have to do two more rows but during those two rows I have to add some stitches so I'll try to explain this also <laughs> I hope I'm doing it right because I have done it wrong before so I think this part is the part that you have to pick up if I do it wrong, I'll, I'll tell it. So then you have this, and then you just knit like normal. This is a bit unhealthy. <laughs> this is a bit unhealthy, but I'm trying to show you. Uh, so okay, let's do that and hope that didn't make a hole. I'm going to do the same before the two last stitches okay like this and then go like this and then finish it off so according to the pattern as I am slightly still following it <laughs> as much as I can I now need to add about seven stitches of this pink. <laughs> Let's try to find the beginning of this yarn. Oh, it's here. That was easy. So of course I would do the rest of the row in blue. But you can see this. And when you spread the colors, there's, there's this obvious hole. So what do I do each time when I do one row? Um, I try to connect them like slightly. Like before I do all the weaving, like I showed previously. So I take this sticking out part and I manually <laughs> push it through this loop and tighten it. And now it's like nothing ever happens. Um, and then on the next row, you can just start using this one again and do the same with the other blue piece of yarn. This is how I manage multiple colors but I'm totally like not experienced. <laughs> but I just wanted to show the process. I am dead now because 
This takes up so much time. Okay. After all this pro footage I filmed, a few days after that, I had to be hospitalized. Which was ironic because I was working on a video that also talks about my health and I was talking about how great it was go everything was going and then I had to be hospitalized because I reacted badly on my medication and now I'm back, everything's fine, I'm still alive. <laughs> So when I was in the hospital, I continued working on my sweater, but I didn't really film much. I didn't have my tripod and I don't know, it was kind of awkward. So I did the back of the sweater in the hospital. I also did like a collar, um, which I at first struggled with and I also kind of made it up in my head, but it's like the same height as the sleevey ends and the bottom of the sweater. I also did the sleeves, I also totally made up that pattern and I had to try it a few times because uh, sometimes like at first it looked super weird, but eventually I made it work. And I also put everything together in the hospital. I needed to put a lot of time in the sleeves because I didn't do any research, I wasn't smart, I just trusted my guts and it failed for like the first two times or maybe the first time, I don't know. And here you can see Evix in my sweater which I also filmed when he came to visit me in the hospital <laughs> and he also fit the sweater although it's really short. Hi everyone, so I am exhausted. <laughs> I really want to finish this video because I started making it more than a month ago but I've been at home from the hospital for a while now. It's the 10th of January I think. I'm kind of in a bad uh, mood at the moment. I'm hungry. It hasn't been my day but I did my makeup in the hope I would be able to finish this video. I just want to finish this sweater because I remember uh, recording and saying I wanted to finish this sweater before Christmas. Also in hospital I made loads of um, creative projects which I'm very happy about and I also um, am considering going to art academy here in the city to keep busy and probably start some kind of charity work before I start any new uh, form of work. Oh my god, please leave a like or a comment or subscribe or whatever because I need it. <laughs> Maybe I can show um, what I have for a sweater now. I don't know why this um, thread is peeking out of my armpit, but I'll fix that. It's kind of um, special. <laughs> and it's really big, but it looks cute when I'm wearing it. I think I only have to attach this sleeve and then do some finishing touches because this doesn't, this doesn't look that great. Um, I also don't know yet how I will wash it. I'll probably have to hand wash it because there are a lot of loose thread ends in the sweater and I don't want it to come loose. Um, but it's huge, but it looks kind of cute when I'm wearing it. Um, I think this is the front. Yes, this is the front. And it's, I'm really happy with it, but it's about time that it's finished. <laughs>